Hey, what's up guys? So here I am. Times Square, New York City. It's a pretty chilly Saturday, but not so bad. My first time wearing a coat this season. We know how it gets in uh, November in New York City. Got my scarf on too. But other than that, it's a pretty decent day, but I've decided, you know what? I'm off today. It's Saturday. I have nothing better to do. Why not go on a little toy hunt? So uh, last week, you guys seen that I ventured off and went to Forbidden Planet, which is a place I haven't been to in a very long time. And it was so awesome to be there. So today, motivated it motivated me to get up today and uh, try another place that I haven't been to in a while. So here we are in Midtown. And what better place in Times Square to visit than Midtown Comics? You can see in the background. Yep, that's Midtown Comics. I was trying to make it bigger, but I guess I can. <laughs> But uh, let's head that way and see what we find. While I cross the street, in the meantime, why don't you guys subscribe to the channel? All right, let's go adventure off and see what we find. All right, here we are, the legendary, one and only, Midtown Comics. Let's uh, go inside and check it out. Midtown Comics. Going up the stairs. Here we go. All this artwork. Alright. Let's go inside. Alright, here we are. Midtown Comics. Bunch of those big Dragon Balls. Couple of skeletons. That's cool. Gundam. I like this three pack. Reaction. These are nice. Colorful too. They got these Green Lantern two packs. Make fun. And, uh, speaking of McFarlane, a whole bunch of figures here. Good looking figures. And more bat cycles. The statues for Transformers, DLX and Megatron. That's a uh, fire right there. We got that Joker. Awesome to see. Sorry about the angle, guys. There's like a pole in the way. We have. A few older Marvel Legends. These are cool. Some of the G.I. Joe Snake Eye movie G.I. Joe figures. Raven Spawn. A few of those violators. I like that spawn. And let's go around. We have that two pack from the Ant Man and Wasp movie. Some more older Marvel Legends. I got all those already. Modoc. More Marvel goodness. The Mafex, Mira, and Aquaman. Those look cool. Justice. We get to see this up close right here from this angle. All the Quint costume. Masterpiece collection. Avatar. Marvel Legends. She's probably the only one I don't have.
since I'm seeing so much of her deck I can hold off. <laughs> uh, don't have this one, but I feel like I can pick her up at any time as well. Bunch of Marvel Selects. All these select collectors. Marvel, they got Thing. Spider Woman. They got the Punisher down here. Ring, Hawkeye. I like the Hawkeye. Thor, Thor. Black Widow. And uh, Dune, Harry Potter. Star Wars. Grogu. This three pack is cool. Tron. Tron three pack. Star Wars. Star Wars Funko Pop. Uh, this is cool. I actually like this. And these. Matrix Ant, Dragon Ball, well I'm assuming she died because they got the figure of her dead. Okay. Statues, that's hot. This statue is nice. They got a few black series, nothing too crazy. Nothing major on black series, but they got some here. So now I'm doing spawn. So the smaller figures, Star Trek, Doctor Who, and a variety of other things. They got these games. Oh, the Marvel Monopoly. That's cool. Alien vs. Predator Clue. That's cool. The Funko vs. Board games. And more games. Exclusive games. Cool. Let's go see other stuff. Well, they do got Funko Pops for your nerves. Tons and tons of Funko Pops. Like, a whole lot. I like this one, this is cool. I like that son of Zorn. Oh, G.I. Joe. Masters of the Universe. Giant Trap Jaws. They got a Funko Freddy exclusive. Funko, Funko, Funko. Just tons and tons of Funko. Oh, that's cool. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Just so many pops. And if I turn around, the giant Galactus pops. 
tons of those. Tons of Buckeyes. Dragon Ball, Immortal Hulk. Something like that. Cool, cool, cool beans. I got a few of these statues. Good looking, good looking statues. That Hulk was the thick. Oh, I like this one. Darth Vader. Good looking figure. Ultras, more Funko Pops, Professor Hulk, Thanos. And we got the G.I. Joe statues. Cool, cool. Nice to see. Over here we have tons of these guys and tons of comic books for those who are into for collecting comics, statues. And Cheetah. Alright, let's go see what else they got. These are really nice. Nice. Beautiful statues. Beautiful. Nice. I like those. More cool statues. I like that. Right. Nice. A few more pops. I like that super scroll pop. Mm. Uh, Crystal, I got that one. Cool, but I'm loving that. Right. Tons and tons of books and comic books. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, it's just like tons. Alright, I think it's time for me to check out another spot. Alright, so we left Bitcoin Comics and I decided since I'm in the area and I'm in the city, I might as well walk a few blocks and walk over to Think Geek GameStop. So uh, it's been a while since I've been in here, so let's go inside and uh, see what we find. Alright. We got tons of Funko Pops. I like this one. Robbers Trail Kids. <laughs> Captain America. So, uh, just so many pops to go through. Masters Universe, Funko Pops on display. Just tons and tons. I'm not going to go through each and every one because it's just way too many. I always wanted this one. I will get this one eventually. These look so nice. Chakra <laughs> Sunway. Ahsoka. Devo. I like Devo. So yeah, tons and tons of Funko Pops. Wonder Woman, Psycho, more Masters. And we do have... Giant Hitman. Cool. Alright, Pikachu. There should be some trade cards there. Can I get that? That's all we have oh, wait, in Marvel Legends. Let's not waste the plastic. Alright, so. 
Oh, you McFarlane. Swipe for the trading card? No, he uh he made his order that way. He made his order with trading card. Well, I think they wrote in the chat that he could be traded. Oh, these little guys. Night guard. Thundercats, reaction figures, Ninja Turtles, Marvel, Sandman, I bought that the other day, some G.I. Joes, Snake is not a bad looking figure, but Transformers, only RC, and the, and a whole bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's. Figures. We got this UFC, the Mirrorverse, Halo. Kind of felt like I was a target for a second there. <laughs> and a whole bunch of baseball pops. 40 year old virgin. <laughs> That's me. I'm a 40 year old virgin. They got these Marvel. Pops on sale. T shirts. And that's about it. Naruto Monopoly. Bunch of anime stuff. Cool. World of Warcraft. Dungeons and Dragons. Nice. And some cool looking hats. <laughs> All right. <laughs> A lot of silver going on here. Silver plushies. All righty then. This is good. Okay guys, so I decided after uh, Think Geek, let's go to Macy's. And they got this big train display right behind me. Beautiful. I forgot how huge Macy's was. But uh, let's see what they have in uh, the toy department. Never know, right? Let's check it out. So, uh, Barbie has her own like uh, section here. Cool. Whole bunch of Barbie stuff. Like tons of it. Like that's dope. Kinda reminds me of Toys R Us, even though I know they are open up Toys R Us within Macy's. So maybe this is it, a start to it. But we have Barbie. Whole lot of Barbie. Now you know it's Christmas time when they start putting out the holiday Barbies. Alright, let's see what else they got. Now this is sick. Check out this Hot Wheels display. Like, so much Hot Wheels, so many Hot Wheels. Of all types in this display. That's awesome. There's tons and tons and tons of Hot Wheels. So it's so funny because you're going to see later on in the other video that I purchased an Iceman from a Think Geek GameStop. And they have the whole entire Apocalypse Wave here at Macy's. And look who I found. The one I really wanted. Legion. Alright. Now that's what we're talking about. Wow, I haven't been to Macy's so long that I even forgot they sold toys like this. And they have a whole entire toy section. Like, it's ridiculous. It goes all the way around. Yeah, this is uh, Macy's on 34th Street. This is dope. Alright, let's go see what else they got. All right, now this is dope. They got a whole slew of Transformers, a whole bunch of Transformers. They got the new Rhinox, 
Ultra Magnet, they got Galvatron. Ultra Magnus, Cyclonus. Definitely gonna grab that Rhinox and a Galvatron next time I come around. But today's a Marvel Legends type of day for me. They got that new uh, Dinobot Slug with the Daniel 2 pack. The movie Transformers. I mean, this is awesome. Okay. And then right behind, we have G.I. Joe. The Snake Eyes movie figures. Not really interested in that wave. Although Snake Eyes does look kind of cool. And then... Yeah, I'm sorry. And behind here, we have more Snake Eyes. A whole bunch of Jurassic Park. I mean, this is dope. So awesome to see. Ghostbusters, they got all of them. This looks like the older wave, which is cool. They do have a bunch of, they have all of them. Egon, the most sought after one. Mario sets, there goes that boat I was the other day. Twenty percent off. I wonder if that's just that or everything. All right, let's see. Let's cruise it down. Oh, this is what I thought was Dino Riders the other day. <laughs> It'll be cool to see that back. All right. This Batcave face set for Imagine X is cool. Got Batman right there. It's a cool set. Look at that. Nice. Oh, one nephew of mine is too grown. He's not even into action figures, only video games. And the other one is not into toys like this at all. But it's all good because I am. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Oh, this is cool. Let's go see what else we find. Just tons and tons and tons of games and Nerf guns. And... I mean, this is awesome. Good to know I have another option out there. Good to know, good to know. So the gentleman here at Macy's explained to me that the reason why they have such a big uh, section now is because it's right now, they're in the middle of merging with Toys R Us, which I mentioned earlier. And I asked him when was that happening, and he said that's actually happening now. That's why the section is so big now, and that's why they got so much variety. And they should be getting more stuff by next month, which is around Christmas time. Makes sense. So I guess by uh, 2022, it'll officially be a Toys R Us on the eighth floor here at the Macy's in uh, Herald Square, 34th Street. I'm excited about that. So yeah, guys, that was my adventure for today. So let's go home and. Uh, check out the stuff I got what's up guys so I'm back home after a lovely day out a nice little outing in the city today here in New York City went downtown Manhattan well yeah downtown Times Square area and Herald Square 34th Street and I hit up a couple of spots that I haven't hit up in a while I uh, visited Think Geek at GameStop today I also visited Midtown Comics and I also visited Macy's, and to my surprise, they have a Toys R Us section in there. I was wondering why there was so many toys going on. Like, the section was just big and beautiful and hot. And when I asked the employee what was going on, what was the miracle, he told me it's because they're in the process of turning it into a uh, Toys R Us. So I'm excited. That gives me another option, another place to shop and buy some action figures. So I'm totally, totally geeked out about that. Yes. So as you guys can see, standing in front of me, I have two Marvel Legends from the uh, Apoc the Age of Apocalypse wave. First, I picked up Iceman from Think Geek because I was like looking for him for a while, couldn't find him nowhere. Then 
wind up getting a surprise when I went to the Toys R Us edition of uh, Macy's. And I found the whole wave there. The entire wave was there. So I always wanted, I mean, I really wanted Legion. Him and Iceman were the two from the wave I actually wanted. I really didn't want anybody else. But after seeing them in person, I kind of want the Shadow Cat now. And I'm also feeling that, um, that Sabertooth too. But let's see. But these are the two I definitely wanted from the wave. So I'm totally excited about that. And I finally got them. Uh, let me see if I can put down this lighting without messing up everything. Because, you know, you see the uh, reflection. But this is Iceman. Artwork on the side. Looking kind of cool. The back. Everybody in the wave. Build a figure. Colossus. I mean, it's dope, dope, dope. I'm glad to have him in my collection. I'm also glad to finally have a Legion in my collection. Side art. I wish he came with that face scope. But it is what it is. Maybe in the future we'll get him in an X-Men outfit and uh, things of that nature with a different face scope. But I'm loving this. So yeah, my Age of Apocalypse figures that I picked up today. Iceman and Legion. Anyways, guys, if you visit New York City, take the time to visit, you know, Forbidden Planet, Think Geek, Midtown Comics, and now Toys R Us inside of Macy's on the eighth floor. And uh, let me know down below in the comments if you knew about the whole uh, Toys R Us thingy already happening at Macy's and let me know what you guys think about this wave so leave a comment let's chat let's talk also guys if you like what you see subscribe show support it's free just hit the subscribe button hit the alert button button I said Burton <laughs> button and uh, hit like and subscribe and leave a comment that's basically it and till the next time guys peace love and hair grease for the butt cheeks later